Welcome back, dudes and dudettes, to all the mods seven to the sky, guys. We we did some fun stuff last episode where we got you know the gravel produced or automated is the better term here. Yes, as you can see, it's working good. I also moved the metallurgic infuser here too. Uh, so we have our infinite water source. We have our metallurgic infuser. I'm we're gonna do a little bit of base reconfiguration today. Because uh, it's not really set up in the most ideal positioning. So we're going to go ahead and get started on that real quick here. Uh, I think we're just going to use iron for our tools. Um, nothing too crazy. And then... Hmm. I want to see something real quick. Do we have... Actually, it's the pickaxe. Do we have... Um, no. Yes. So we have a Paxel. So we're going to make an iron Paxel today. Um, so it's going to require this guy. It's going to combine a couple of tools into one. Um, and so that's what we want really bad. So we'll only need a, only need a sword and these tools. Bam, iron paxel. There we go. So that will replace our shovel, our pickaxe, and our axe. So we can just throw those off the edge. And bam, there we go. So how much attack damage? Oh, it does 10 attack damage. So... This replaces kind of all three, so we won't really need them, which is great. So we're gonna uh, break these, pick them up, and we're gonna um, and we're gonna move them here. There we go. And that way, right by our water source is where we need to move the water to. Uh, and then over here is where we're gonna be moving, kind of like rotating this over, so we have a little bit more freedom and space in the middle. So I'm gonna pick up some of these. We're gonna make some more chests, um, but we are gonna upgrade these right away because we do have a bit of copper. So let's look up the copper chests. Uh, we may upgrade to iron as well because we do have quite a bit of iron and we are running very low on storage. So let's look up chest. There we go, so copper chest. Oh, that's pretty simple, you just surround it. Um, yeah, we use all of those. Oh, I didn't realize I had this much iron. Oh, and we got some more of those. Cool. So I want to have uh, a three by three of chests. That's the goal. Uh, now, we clearly don't have enough for that right now, uh, but we can get a little closer to it. Um, seven. So we just need two more, which is great. And then let's see about also upgrading the furnace up to an iron furnace. This guy here. Okay, so we can do three of them, perfect. So here, here, and here, and then the chests will be here and there, and then we'll move these guys as well. We'll also upgrade these up to the iron chests too. Like this, beautiful, okay. Perfect, and then Right here is where we'll put these, and this is where we're moving everything to. It's very cool. We'll take the crafting table, put it here. That way it's kind of in the center. We might switch that to a crafting station. Um, but yeah, now comes the fun part. I don't trust that we won't lose these over the edge, so we're, we're going to be careful. Um, let me get everything out of my inventory. Okay. All these can go here. Oh, we said we were going to upgrade to... Uh, yeah, let's see. So we were going to upgrade to iron chests. So do we have just the upgrade? Aha. Uh -huh. So actually, I'm just gonna go ahead and take all of these back. We're gonna up upgrade straight to iron right away. Actually, no, I need the iron. What am I doing? What am I doing? Okay, so here we go. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, that's a lot better. All right, perfect. So actually what we can do, if we're really careful, is we can place these here. I'm gonna place 
that so we don't lose any of our items. Then we can just break these. It's okay if it goes into the water stream. Nothing too crazy ever happened. Oh, we gotta break these. That was silly. Okay, no rhyme or reason for the storage. Just rhymes. Bust a rhyme. You know how it is. Cool. Okay, so now we are definitely feeling way less claustrophobic. Let me see if I can grab some lava out of this. Yes, perfect. Okay, for some reason that was a little glitched and we couldn't see that, but that is totally okay. And so we're going to put one of these lava buckets here. We're going to take this dirt, place that there, and this will be where we craft up our lava. Like so, very cool. All right, so we got lava production right here. This should be a lot quicker than the torch, theoretically. Um, and yeah, so we can break this too, make it look good. And then we can put the bed maybe here. There we go, respawn point, respawn point is set. This is in the middle. Our island feels so much bigger. Look at that, we even got more cacti. Very cool. All right, so I figured we'd go through some of the quests that we have completed here. Um, oh, we got four redstone out of that. Very cool. More experience. Beautiful. Getting started part two. Okay. Uh, so we got there. We haven't got quite to the diamond mesh yet, uh, but we can do this. We need eight seeds, a hoe. Um... Let's... Hmm. Wood we are lacking. We might want to fix that. Oh, not a crook. Okay, there's that. Cool. Okay, so we did get this. Ooh, we get bread. We get some bone meal. Very cool. Let's click this, get some experience. All right, so the only thing we're doing left on this one is the meshes, which is great. Uh, getting started part two. We got a diamond and a flower. Ooh, 100 experience. That did a lot. <laughs> okay. Um, all the modium. How are we supposed to get that? Mechanism. Oh, my gosh. They made that super expensive. Found in tw in the Twilight Forest, Hollow Hills, maybe another place. Oh, so Twilight Forest is going to be a big one for us then. Oh, Bacabee. So we'll do that. Oh, we got one here. Oh, Compact Machines. I cannot wait to get into these guys. Um, yeah, and then it opens there. The sink is good. Okay, so something we can do kind of quickly here is get into create. We get a create wrench. We kind of open up to other things that we do have the ability for, which is good. Um, andesite, though, I believe we still need to do. It's so funny you throw those. Yeah, is there a better way to get andesite? Let's see. Okay, so mystical agriculture is a pretty good one. Obviously, the those guys. Um, diorite, productive bees. Hmm, is there a good way? Oh, wait a second. Philosopher stone. Let's get one of those. Uh, we have everything we need to get that, I believe. Philosopher stone here. Okay. We need gunpowder. Okay. We need gold. Hey, you, give back my gold watch. That's how you remember gold. Okay, so Philosopher's Stone. We did it. That was simple. Where was that? Bounty board. Killing all things here, you'll find the reward you. Killing enemy, praise the Lord. Progress. Hmm, Phantom Charm. Phantoms can't see us with this. Dang. Where do we put it? Where do we put it? 
Interesting. Okay. Maybe if we just click it. Nope. I guess it's with us always. Cube. Oh my goodness. That was crazy. What about this? If we place you down. Okay. Interesting. That's how we get smooth stone. Um, all right. Uses for the philosopher's stone. Oh, oh, oh my. Oh my, that is amazing. Um, I totally forgot about this guy until just now. So let's see here. Can we turn all of these into diamonds? Oh my gosh, we can. Okay, so now we have a bunch of diamonds, which is great. So we can upgrade a couple of these guys. Um, here we go. All right, and then uses here. We can upgrade six of them. Okay. So we'll start here. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then the rest of these will be iron. Cool. So I'm going to sift up a bit here, and we'll see what cool resources we can get now that we have much better... Um, sieves so this will be fun i'm gonna oh wait stone to iron furnace oh dang it we got a free one of those anyway <laughs> okay so nine stacks of gravel yield us eight diamonds and nine emeralds which is great because we can turn all of those into diamonds all the emeralds because we really don't need them now uh and i believe if we were to switch it up and do some of this we yeah we have 26 now so that means we can upgrade more of these guys um so let's see so 26 divided by six i believe we can get four because 24 yeah so we can add four more of these guys to yeah four more of these meshes so now we're getting even more chances at diamonds uh, but now we're hitting the limit of how much gravel we have, <laughs> which is awesome. You know, great problem to have. Uh, but look at this. We have a lot of materials, even more copper here, too. Uh, so we can do some of this. I hope I still have my hammer. Uh, might want to look into an auto or not auto hammer. Well, it may be. Oh, no, not auto hammer, but maybe an auto compactor. Can we do that yet? We still compactor alchemistry. Nope, that's not. Flux compactor, this guy. Okay. Hmm. What about a sieve? Um, this guy here, flux sieve. Okay. We can do this. Let's go ahead and set this guy up now. I feel like that's a good course of action. Okay, so there's my iron. We need two blocks here. Perfect. Auto sieve. We need some iron bars. We need a sieve. That's the start. Okay, so we need some more trees to be grown. That's okay. Oh, frick. Sorry, cacti. All right, so we get some more wood. Perfect. Okay, and that should be everything we need for. Wait, is that a heavy? No, just a normal sieve. Cool. All righty, so there we go, and now we just need a hopper. Boom, and a flux sieve. There we freaking go. All right, so where do we want to take this? Um, so I've got it outputting to the back here. Uh, I think we need... Well, we definitely need a chest to store the items. Um, 
Yes, this one here. So we break this guy. The flux sieve goes here. Items get pulled out there. Where's my crescent wrench? There it is, or just our pipe wrench. So like this, right? This gets replaced with a chest. Obviously we'll upgrade this here pretty soon. And then we need to get power here. Hmm, how do we do that? How do we get that power there? Um, I hope this will work because this will make it look way better. Okay, we need to put a mesh there. That's perfectly okay. We're gonna steal this one. All right, mesh. Um, I got an idea. So what we can do is we can place this guy here. Right, and then we need that we need another chest. We can make one. No? Okay. Where's this? How is this direction? Um, does it go? Okay, so this definitely has to be here, but does it have to have a chest below it? Is that what's going on? If I put this here, we put this stuff in. Our machine is working. Okay, so it pulled the items out. Very good. We can just run the pipe over there. All right, we're making progress, we're making progress. And into there, where's our wrench? Boom, and then we don't want that. Yes, here we go. So all of our items are being put into there. Look at that, it's automatic. Okay, so we definitely need to upgrade it now at this point. Let's just get this copper processed up so we can surround it. Well, we're going to try to upgrade this up to diamond tier. Okay, so we got the chest here upgraded to iron. We're actually going to bump it up to gold. And then if we have a little bit more gold that I do have processing here, plus two diamonds, we can upgrade it to a diamond chest. So that's what we're going to do right now. Um, yeah, we just need four more. We've got three in there, so we are going to need to break into this. Now, I'm not going to double it because, you know, at this point, we're getting automatic resources, uh, which is really cool. Um, and can we put... Yeah, we can put an upgrade on here to upgrade our... Speed up this process, which is amazing. I'm very excited for that. So we have five. We just need one more gold, and we are off to the races for a diamond chest. Booyah. Okay, so diamond chest here. Bam, and then you can make it a crystal or obsidian or even better. But yeah, this is how much storage we have in here. So the one above this is a netherite um, chest, which is cool. Yeah, so you have to combine it with the netherite ingot. How do you get that in this? Netherite scraps, do we sift? Yeah, we can sift for in crushed netherrack, which we get with a hammer, netherrack. How do we process this? Um, okay. 
igneous extruder, so lava, witch water, and a block of redstone gives us netherrack. So that's probably the method we're gonna have to go to here pretty soon. But yes, we have automated resources here. Very, very cool. I'm super excited about that. Come back here after a while, you know, this thing's just running, just making all the stuff and things. Um, and yeah, we, we can even put an upgrade slot on here eventually. I might do that because uh, we have a lot of um, cobblestone here kind of backed up. So yeah, we'll have a good time. Okay, so a few things I did is I added another one of those uh, wind generators here so we have double the power production because I am going to go ahead and add in the upgrade here. So now we're processing two uh, for everyone. Oh, wait, real quick. I wanted to see this real quick. Is it? Okay, so yeah, when you stack it, now we're producing four per. Um... Yeah, okay, so that's cool. Um, maybe I'll make a couple more of those. But anyway, we're gonna do it for here right now, and that way our materials continue to climb, and check it out if we combine this with the um, Philosopher's Stone. Yeah, we have a total of nine, and we have a total of 13 here. Very cool, we're increasing our diamonds by a, actually quite a bit. So I'm um, gonna go AFK here and let this process, but guys, that is gonna wrap up the episode for today. Thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please make sure to hit that like button. And as always, guys, don't forget to subscribe. But this has been Super Turtle, and I'll see you all next episode. Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye.